All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be covering how to fix some errors and how to get some stuff for free on Aceto Corsa. So yeah, you can see the list right here. And uh, number one is I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the Aceto Corsa DLCs for free. So some servers require you to have the DLCs to even join. So this will fix the issue for most of the servers. So yeah, number two would be how to fix the checksum error. The checksum error is basically your mods not matching the server's mods so the files are completely different from yours and the servers number three would be how to fix the missing car error which is you're just missing a car it's pretty self-explanatory and number four is csp is out of date please update to newest version or something along the lines so yeah um depending on the time you're watching this right now i think the highest is 0.1.77 or 0.1.78 one of those i, I only have uh 0.1.77 but yeah and number five would be update to content manager uh, version or higher. Number six would be required DLCs who might be missing, which refers to number one. I'll show you how to fix that. Number seven is how to install mods. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods. It's really easy. I'm going to be showing you guys the easy way. There's also a little difficult way, but I'm just only going to be showing you guys the easy way. So also number eight is the controller not working or not being detected issue. I'll be showing you guys how to do this. And yeah. So, read the checklist. Make sure that you have followed number one if it says that the, the, that the DLCs might be missing. And make sure that CSP is up to date. I'll show you guys how to make sure that it's up to date too. Make sure your content manager is up to date. I'll show you guys how to make sure that that's up to date too. And if nothing in this video works, uh, verify your game files. That will be a last resort. Also, um, a disclaimer. If you verify your game files, um, your, <clears throat> your DLCs that you got from number one in the things that i will cover in this video they will get deleted but it's not that hard to install it it only takes about two minutes and yeah so yeah if you verify your game files they'll get deleted because it's seen as uh, something that the game is not supposed to have in the files because it's not connected to your steam account so anyways um and also yeah the topics that i cover in this video are not guaranteed to fix your issues and if i find out new issues and how to fix those issues then uh, join my discord server I'll put the link in the description and just send me a DM and yeah I'll what's it called I'll tell you if I have a fix to that all right guys so first we're gonna start out with number one and number one is how to get the set of course of DLCs for free so to get the set of course of DLCs for free you'll go to this link the link will be in the description and basically you download the folder and it will bring you to the it might take a minute but yeah just wait a second i'm gonna let this load oh it's already done okay okay um so you get this make sure you drag and drop it to here and uh i'm just gonna press replace all right so minimize that and go here press right click on it and press extract here and um so i forgot to tell you guys this but i already have most of the files here so i'm just gonna press a uh, yes to all and it'll replace them so yeah and when you're done with that open steam and go to your library hold on oh shoot all right now go to your aceto corsa and hold on let me minimize this real quick all right, go to your Seto Corsa, click on Manage, and go to Browse Local Game Files. Open that, and just wait for it to open. It's on my other monitor. Hold on. All right, now this is open. So, hold on. Let me delete these files. This is really messing with it. Anyways, so, um, yeah, let me extract this once more real quick. All right, so now I have all the files here. I'm just gonna put them right here. Sorry for all this random stuff, guys. I'm just trying to get this through. I'm trying not to like make a new recording and stuff. So basically, you'll get this here and you'll move it to your Aceto Corsa folder. You don't have to open any of these folders. Make sure it's under common and Aceto Corsa and then move it here. I'm not gonna do it, but it will ask you to replace files. Um, if it asks you to replace files, press replace the files sometimes i might say there's two files with the same name just press yes replace these files 
so yeah that's how you fix um number one that's how you get the dlcs for free all right now i'm going to be showing you guys how to fix issue number two which is how to fix the checksum error so if your issue is it'll say uh checksum failed please um fix or whatever and it'll have a red background i'll show you how to fix this so first you go to content in the top and then go to whatever car is broken for you so look up like q50 if the infinity q50 is broken for you lamborghini huracan etc you get what i mean anyways um so you can full screen it and then you go to the bottom it says pack data press on that and it'll it'll bring up a little page and then you could just close that uh file explorer page and then you do it one more time it says pack data already exists replace it press yes original will be removed to the recycle bin and then you don't have to empty the recycle bin you could do that later on but yeah that's how to fix um number two it should work it won't work all um it's like a 90 percent chance of it working if it doesn't work then uh like i said message me on discord link in description and yeah that's how you fix number two all right so here is how to fix um issue number three which is missing car error so missing car error is usually when you're missing a car from the server you either don't have it or it's or the file is damaged or missing or whatever uh yeah so you'll go here uh go to wherever one let's just say uh for example let's say that the bmw m5 is missing then you'll download that right click on it and press download and boom that is how you download it and i'll show you how to install the mods later uh, there might be timestamps in the description or i will put like sections in the video um yeah you could just figure it out and anyways yeah that's how you do it uh i'll show you how to install mods on number seven when we get to number seven you could just skip to number seven if this is a problem that you're having or if you don't know how to install mods but yeah that's how you uh fix this and number f the fix to issue number four would be CSP is out of date. Please update to the version it shows. Uh, currently, the version that is out right now is 0.1.77 or 0.1.8 or whatever. 0.1778 or whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, so in order to make sure your CSP is up to date, go to your content manager. Yeah, you usually start out on Drive. And then go to your settings and then you usually go right here but you usually start out right here then you're supposed to go to custom shaders patch and go to about and updates if it doesn't show a gray circle if it doesn't show like a gray dot inside this circle right here that means that you're not on this certain version so if you're having any problems make sure that you're on the newest version and if you're still getting the issue press a reinstall current version and that might not fix it, but it's most likely to. So yeah, that's how you fix uh, number four. And I'm and uh, yeah, so this is how to fix. Please update content manager to certain version or higher. So <clears throat> in order to fix this issue, you'll go to your settings. You're already here. Go to content manager and go to general. I'm just gonna full screen this and press check for updates. I'd suggest that you have your check for updates on every 30 minutes. So yeah, press check for updates and um, yeah, it'll check for updates. If it doesn't do anything, most likely it doesn't have an update. I've, I've never updated this because um, I just I literally just got the game. But yeah, that's how you fix it. And number six is required DLCs might be missing. So number one, I've already showed you guys how to fix that. Um, basically, required DLCs might be missing means you don't have a certain DLC to run the server. So for most mods... They will use a DLC car as a base for the car and then modify that car to make it look like another car. So, for example, they'll be um, they'll make a new R34 and use it as a mod. They'll get the R34 from the Japanese pack or wherever you got it from. And they'll change the look of the car and make it a mod. And basically, in order to use that mod, you must have the Japanese pack or the base R34 in order to run that mod. So, yeah, that's how you do it. And to install mods... I'll show you guys how to install mods. So basically to install mods, you'll get the folder. So let me go to my downloads. Um, downloads. Okay. So this is how you go to it real quick. All right. So I'm going to open content manager. So this is how you install your mods. So basically to install your mods, 
you go here i'm just going to take a random car let's just say the m6 say you don't know how to install the m6 so get the m6 put it drag and drop it onto anywhere here you don't gotta drag and drop it anywhere this is the easy way just drag and drop it anywhere on the interface of content manager just do that and you'll see up here it says one installing it'll show green and it says update for me but usually it will just say update so press or i mean usually it will just say install my bad yeah usually it'll just say install so press install and yeah i'm just gonna press cancel but anyways um yeah that's how you install mods number eight is your controller not working slash your controller not being detected so let me plug in my controller just to show you guys this issue real quick and yeah so i have it connected now so go to your device manager and scroll until you see xbox peripherals if you're using an xbox controller um it should just be under i don't know what it would be under for um playstation controllers i could check that out later i'll put a comment or i'll put something in the, in the description uh for playstation controllers but anyways if you have an xbox controller this is how you do it so you go here xbox gaming device and you press uninstall device i'm not going to do this because i don't have any problems with my controller so yeah and one thing you have to check is go under human interface devices and make sure nothing is grayed out so if there's anything grayed out here make sure it's not grayed out and yeah that's how you make sure that your controller is working yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember if you have any issues message me on discord link in description check my link tree you can follow my tiktok follow my twitter follow my instagram or whatever follow whatever is in my link tree yeah um like it sub and peace out